life for us, we're, we're at home for short stints and then we're on the road, a lot of airport hotels and a lot of you know, flights and a lot of rental cars, but it's a busy schedule, but it's sort of, I don't know, we've, I've always worked in hockey. I was drafted by Vancouver back in 1980, signed on with St. Louis. I think I was up for about 28 games or so. Retired, got out of the game for 10 years, was in advertising, doing uh, computer graphics. I'm married, uh, I've been married for coming up on nine years and uh, have a two-year-old. My daughter uh, really enjoys and she can say Blackhawks. That's one of the reasons that I, I did get out of the game for 10 years was so that I could spend time at home with them. It gave me a chance to coach my son when he was growing up and be a part of his hockey. It wasn't until my son went on to play in the Western League that, that I got back into the game and pursued it again. With her being little, you miss parts of you know her growing up, and FaceTime is a wonderful thing. When I'm on the road, I try and make sure no matter what time, I talk to her for breakfast, and that usually means there's some normalcy to the job. This is the Memorial Cup, which is the, uh, the winners of the three CHL leagues, the Western League, the Ontario League, and the Quebec League, along with the host Windsor. It's the CHL championship, and uh, a lot of good prospects have come through here. It's a chance for us to kind of check in on the draft eligible players on those teams. Obviously, it's nice to have some Blackhawks prospects here as well to see how they do on the, on the big stage. So it's a really good chance to see players raise their level, regular season playoffs, and then this is championship. We've got quite a few guys here today, uh, both from the, uh, the scouting side and the player development side. Straight ahead or to your left? All the different teams. You see a lot of their fans travel to this tournament from all over, even if their teams aren't in it. So you get to see a lot of the jerseys from all over. It's kind of... There's Mark right there. Darryl May. That's kind of the way the game goes. You, you move around a little bit. Uh, I was fortunate to get some opportunities and uh, you know, fortunate to, to get in contact with Mark Kelly to, to get in with the Blackhawks. Daryl came on, I'm going to say 2009. Daryl, it was interesting because Daryl had been a general manager at Chilliwack in the Western Hockey League. And uh, Daryl had sent me an email, he's looking for a scouting job. And I told him better to check back after the draft, because that's if we were making changes, that's what would happen. It just takes the whole flow of the game out. And lo and behold, I got another email, and uh, we had a long conversation. Then I went and talked with Stan and Al, John, and the rest is history. I was assistant GM of the London Knights for 11 years. I worked with them from 2000 till 2011. I joined the Hawks uh, in 2010. The Blackhawks are proud to select Ryan Hartman. Ryan Hartman was a player that I was heavily involved in. He joined the Plymouth Whalers in his draft year. Mark Kelly lives right in Plymouth area, and he and I saw Ryan regularly. I interacted with him a lot and spent a lot of time getting to know him, getting to know Ryan throughout the year, and then we drafted him at the end of that season. And then, obviously, you know, he's, he's been a part of our organization the last three years. His first National Hockey League goal! Every time a guy gets called up or a, becomes a player in Chicago, you feel a part of that success when somebody gets the call or they score their first goal or you know can help contribute to uh, to us winning games. The break it fires and scores. There's number 50 on the season. I actually went to uh, dinner with Jim McKellar and they took us out a, a few of the guys on our team so the first time a team really um, took us out to dinner or really talked to us really seriously so you know it kind of means a lot for, for the players to to get that connection and you know have a friendly face you know around the ring. We have a communicating staff that talks a lot and spends a lot of time in a tight group. And we have a lot, some guys that are funny. Get up and dance. <laughs> I've worked with Alex now for two years and that's what you want, a passion and somebody that's interested in oh, okay. getting the right player and getting the info that'll help us. Jim was right next to me in Ontario and uh, he, he sort of took over the mentorship role and uh, he's, been, uh, he's been really good to me. Hey Alex a great mentor and always someone that I can rely on if I have questions, if I need to talk to someone or sometimes just blow some steam and call someone and uh, I can always reach out to him. I was drafted uh, back in the days and then I ended up stopping uh, my uh, hockey career, playing career 
when I was 28, 29, and then I started as a GM in the Val d'Or, that's in the Quebec League. I was GM there for three years, and uh, until I got the, the job with Chicago. He's not too far removed from playing. For us, he's a real good fit because he brings that, that youth uh, and, and a good connection to the young players coming up. I get to learn a lot from all these guys. It's something I can really benefit from and uh, get a lot of good advice from, uh, from most mature scouts. <laughs> We're adding to your notes right now. I think you know we've seen these guys enough. Now we're just we're kind of looking at all the little the little things in their game to you know make sure we've got it right. Doesn't look like he's got much better, does he? Holy cow! Everything that he does, like not right, he could improve. Like plays on the wall, just use his body better to get that puck out. But it's, it seems like he didn't improve that at all. Like I'm not sure he wants to and. He's going to score all his goal around the net, drive in the net, shoulder down, and, but I'm not sure he likes that. We're going to focus on the, the players for the draft uh, and see how they stack up against some of the older players, some of the, you know, the top players in, in the country, and uh, evaluate uh, if, if they've got the, I guess the traits to be Blackhawks. If I look back at my playing days, it's, it's just sort of the same feeling where it's uh, basically we're a team and it takes that working process beyond work and it's becoming friendship and it's uh, it's just awesome get along you guys right now we're doing a lot of preparation for the combine right now we're doing we're, we're actually going over our notes on the players that we're going to meet with we've already uh, talked to them multiple times but now we'll probably pick out specific questions for the individual and see how they handle those I'm going to hit the road right from here, uh, drive to Toronto tonight, which is about three and a half hours, and then I got an early morning flight back to Vancouver in the morning, and uh, then I'll be in Buffalo on, by Sunday. It's, it's certainly not the watching the hockey, the travel is what wears you out, it's not the hockey, the hockey's great all the time, but uh, you know, we love what we do, so it's, it's good. You guys remember where we parked? You don't know how many nights you come out. You, know, you forgot what your rental car was because you've rented five cars in, in a week. See you, Jim. Safe, Safe drive. drive. Yeah, you too. See you. Next stop, Buffalo. Hug it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have a safe drive. <laughs> okay. Oh, God.